little video was bloody my Invicta video where that was before COVID started and I <laughs> I said that I was going to be making heaps of videos but yeah nah, uh, COVID became a thing um, so yeah looks like I'm back out making videos and I am I've just come fresh out of indoor state indoor uh, then I've had state play out and now I'm onto my uh, state field and then I think it goes to state match play or state outdoor so I'll be getting prepared for that and uh, this weekend state field so doing some prep um, I'm really looking forward to state field um, fields not my strongest point but that's why I'm out here practicing I'm hoping to get you know some cool stuff down might even tomorrow and the next couple days I might even go out and stand on the funny terrain to try and get myself used to the the wonky slopes and stuff although we'll be shooting at Great Southern Arches at Strathalbyn which is um, it's pretty flat there. Uh, I'll try and actually take some photos and I'll take some video of take some videos and stuff and put it up on my Instagram. Um, that'll be pretty sweet. Hopefully, hopefully coming out with a good one. Uh, coming straight fresh off of State Clout, which was just oh superb weather. Bloody yeah! Everyone that was there knows how brilliant that was. No, oh, he's just. I don't think he looks like he's enjoying it, Dory. Look at him. Well done to everyone who got a medal at the indoor end, the clear. Because I, I shot in the uh, open men's and I didn't shoot the highest score, but I came first for the open men's. And for the indoor, I believe I shot indoor for my age group, for 20 and under, I came, came first for the WA and the AA, or well, Vegas. And then for Open, I came second for WA and AA. Made a few changes to my bow. Um, got the new Ultra View grip with the five degree. Look at that, bloody beautiful. Uh, what else was I done? Oh yeah, I've added heaps of weight. I've got now 21 on the back, 21 ounces on the back. These are the scout weights, so I've got four, three, 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 four, four, and then on the front I've got 24 ounces, so I've got four, 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 three, three, I'm pretty sure that's two ounces. So yeah, you've got a fair bit on there now. Um, Carter, look at that, bloody beautiful. Got the Ultra View funky knob on there, loving that. Bloody Jordan, thanks for that one, mate early birthday present from Jordan and I'm loving it so far so good and target 3 plus with I've got the shoe on there as well just so it's you know just makes it easier to pull into it got that launch tech blade as well loving that at the moment didn't have that when I did my Invicta 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 review I've had this for ages now feels like not that long but I've had it for so long got the Shibuya of course um, what else have I done I reckon that's about it actually. I've got my uh, RX4 as well and I've sighted in with my Eastern Hexes. And I just, it's been really hard to get out and hunt with it. Yeah, we just haven't been able to get out at the moment. Um, I've got some Oscar broadheads which I'm meant to be tuning them up with, with their RX4 which is going to be so cool. Um, the four blade ultra Oscuts, they're going to be really nice, good for everything. Always have my music going which is great. It's great to sit, stand out here and shoot and I know for a lot of people been struggling with COVID to try and get motivated and stuff but I just found the best way was to just come out and do it and just shoot and just forget about everything because you're not shooting for you're not shooting for scores anymore, you're shooting for fun and to, you know, make sure that everything's everything's still good. So when archery does come back in full swing, you'll be out there and you'll be smashing the scores out. A big thing I've been doing is speaking to speaking to my mates on over FaceTime and shooting with them and keeping up to date how they're going and stuff and it's just really nice to know that you know you can still shoot and have competition and be in your backyard which is great and I've been loving doing that. Alright, I'm gonna go shoot some more arrows and of course I'm gonna film it.
So now I'm just shooting at 20 just because it's my longest distance. I'm just shooting at a WA face just to really get honed in on that inside X. So I think the inside X is maybe a touch bigger, maybe similar size to the 6 at field. Been doing a lot of work on um, my release hand and uh, my, also my bow hand recently. I've been really focusing not too hard because I might uh, hurt my brain, but I've been focusing pretty hard on you know just making sure I've got a constant, consistent release. You know, pull, adding heaps of pressure. Um, I've also made my release hotter, so that's helped a bit. and destroyed that knock. Oh, it's another... Ah... I think that's the worst pin I've ever actually seen. One more round, and then maybe like two rounds of blind bail. I'm gonna go inside. It's 31 degrees today and it's just out of nowhere and my hands are as sweaty as any. Alright, so that was my first end. Pretty happy with that. Everything's at maybe a touch to the left, so I'll adjust that in a second. That one's pretty good, just these two are a bit low. Happy with that shot, that was number four. Um, and then these two, these two are lovely. Happy with that. Down comes this one and blind bail time. Done. Well, that's me over tonight. I'll be out here again tomorrow and the night after. And I'm gonna go watch some Simpsons.